Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we have a little update on Secret Invasion. Well, I have to say, if there's one show Marvel Studios has been keeping a low profile with, it's the upcoming Disney Plus series, Secret Invasion. Now, if you're a fan of the comics, you know how much of a big deal this was. Secret Invasion was a massive event that kicked off with the shape-shifting scrolls replacing many of the Earth's mightiest heroes in an effort to take over the planet. This eventually led to an all-out war, followed by a full-blown invasion from the Skrulls, which was ultimately thwarted by the one and only Norman Osborn. Now, since the show was announced, all signs pretty much pointed to the Disney Plus series being much smaller in scale, with the whole thing following Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury as he tries to stop the invasion from happening in the first place. Now, up until this point, everybody was working on the idea that this was going to be small scale, and it wasn't going to be anywhere near as huge and massive as the comic book event. But recently, a synopsis surfaced, and if this is anything to go on, it's going to be a lot bigger than we thought. Now, it reads, Secret Invasion is a newly announced series heading to Disney Plus that stars Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury and Ben Mendelsohn as the Skrull Talos. The crossover event showcases a faction of shape-shifting scrolls who have been infiltrating the Earth for years. Now, the description itself is what you would expect, but this is absolutely the first time we've ever heard the phrase crossover event series from Marvel. This immediately brings to mind a ton of potential cameos and major links to other movies and television shows that haven't been brought up as of yet. Quite honestly, I think we've probably interacted with multiple scrolls over the time of the MCU, and we just didn't know they were there. This could be everybody from Kobe Smulders' Maria Hill to, more recently, Sharon Carter, who really was acting rather uncharacteristic. And speaking of Kobe Smulders, she actually talked about Phase Zero last week at Comic-Con, and her quote was pretty interesting. She said, I mean, when you think about the world they're in, the scrolls have been around since we saw them in Captain Marvel. They've been building in numbers. And are they good? Are they bad? We're going to find out in this show. But there's certainly a lot of them. And some of it turns into this, can I trust you? And it's really cool. I'm certainly fraught with a lot of tension. Now, she just pretty much made the exact point that we said. That the scrolls have been around nearly now for 30 years. And they could be almost anywhere. Now, I'm definitely curious on how this is going to impact the start of Phase 5. And considering this movie drops before the Marvels, it very well could have a massive impact in that. Now I will say, I think one of my major worries could be that since Kang the Conqueror is taking center stage during that multiverse saga, where does this leave the scrolls? But I think we probably should temper our worries. Marvel is clearly not telling one story right now. It appears to me they have five or six stories they're telling, with the multiverse saga just being one of them. The scrolls can fit in in multiple places, and one place we haven't really seen a lot of storytelling start to come together yet is in the cosmic side of the MCU. The Marvels, and then followed by Guardians of the Galaxy, aren't that far out, and I suspect by the time we get to the end of Secret Invasion, The Marvels, and GOTG Volume 3, we'll have a much clearer picture. Obviously, we're going to keep following Secret Invasion until it releases. I'm working on a video about that Union Jack story that was based on a recent rumor, but I'm looking to get a couple more details for you guys before we go with it. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to get all the Secret Invasion updates. But until we know more, what do you guys think? How do you feel about this Disney Plus series being a crossover event? And in your mind, does this mean a ton of cameos from other MCU characters? Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates.